Take them off and loosen them before you take the belts off because you're going to have a hell of a time getting those off. Okay. So a little trick I'll show you. You just take your wrench, you put on one of the bolts, just like this, and you're going to turn the wheel as you hold the wrench on the bolt. It's back and forth like this. And that's going to undo the bolt. Just like that. So that's a quick way of removing the bolts. So when you pull the, the two pulleys off, there's the one, just like that. And there's the other one behind it, just like that. You want to make sure that, actually there's no keyway on the Hyundai here. Okay, so this one doesn't have one. The Buick, usually there's a slotted keyway in there. This one does not have it. So make sure that the way you pull it off, you line up the same way you put it on. So pull it off all at once and hold it in this position and put the bolts back in the holes until you're ready to install. There's no keyway though. So just if, I'm not too sure if it... matters if it's shifted one bolt but I'd rather just put it back in the same way I took it out so we're gonna put this aside there's two pieces just like that and there down below here's your water pump right here now at this point you're gonna to want to test the water pump bearing it's gonna to want to spin it listen for any any type of uh, weird grinding noise or resistance there's nothing on there that water pump sounds good the uh, I'll show you later when we get the engine when you get the time belt cover off there's gonna be a weep hole we're gonna look at and that's to determine whether your water pumps healthy or not there's a little weep hole on there so I'll show you that when we get to that point so now we're gonna take off our our upper timer belt cover right here there's a bolt right down there where my finger is Remove that bolt as well, and then this cover comes off. Now, when you lift the cover off, be careful because there's a seal that keeps the dust and dirt and debris out. You want to make sure you don't damage that when you lift that off. And that's going to give us an exposure to the uh, upper timing belt sprocket or the camshaft sprocket where we can actually uh, see the belt. Okay, as you remove this bolt, take it out right now. There's going to be a uh, rubber washer make sure you take that out too that goes before the bolt like that and the bolt goes in if you look down here there's a wire connecting to this bracket you're just going to push that bracket it just moves up and down you just push that out of the way the bracket sits on top of the timing belt cover you see right there let's move it out of the way okay now we're looking at the other bolt it's located Right, my fingers pointing right in there we're going to remove that one as well and then we're going to remove the cover upper timing belt cover okay what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to remove the cover there's going to be a fine rubber seal around this cover I already removed all the bolts you can get yourself a screwdriver what you're going to do is you're going to lightly push up and push in and push the rubber basket off of the edge because some over time it'll stick on there you're going to work your way all the way around the side until you it comes off. Now I already did this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the seal I'm talking about. Right here, there's a rubber seal. It runs along the edge of this timing belt cover. The bottom one has one too. This will stick on the other plastic, so you got to separate it carefully. Just take your time. You don't just start yanking on parts and pulling it out. You will damage the seal, and then you'll have to order a new uh, cover. So, as you see now, now we have, this is the timing belt right here. You're not going to want to touch, use clean gloves and clean hands from this point on.
right here, you'll see where my screwdriver tip's pointing, there's a hole. That hole, there's a dot up here, right here. You gotta bring that, rotate it clockwise until that dot meets the dot. There, you'll see a dot. And when it lines up perfect, the top part of the engine's in perfect timing. And the bottom part has to also be lined up with the markings as well. So we're gonna have to do that right now. I think my light's too bright for the camera, but better you guys see all this now instead of trying to you know, view a hazy video later. So anyway, let's uh, we're gonna get underneath uh, and we're gonna remove the uh, bottom time belt cover, but we can't do that until we remove the monarch balancer and the monarch balancer bolt. So I'm just gonna go put my uh, cover aside against that wall. I label, I put everything with its bolts laying up against the wall so I know exactly where everything goes when I put it back together. So I suggest you do the same. Keep track of what bolts come from which uh, holes. You're gonna take, let me just get the camera so I can see what I'm doing here. You're gonna take a drill and drill to remove the other seal. What you're gonna do first of all is you have two options here. You can use an old timing belt to hold this, or you undo this pull here. Or you can uh, do the other option, which is take off the uh, this bracket right here, and then take these bolts off to hold on the uh, engine cover. This engine and the, below there is all your uh, valves and stuff, valve cover. But you're gonna need a new valve cover seal if you do that. And you can order those at Hyundai. And then you're gonna, there's gonna be a spot right around this area here where you're gonna put a wrench, adjustable wrench. You'll see a spot. And it'll hold this from turning while you undo this bolt. So, but that's a, that's a lot of extra work. So if you have to do a, here, let me just uh, take the camera off the tripod and I'll show you exactly where the uh, seal is. Today we're not replacing the seal, but we'll still show you anyway. Okay, let's zoom down here and see if you can see it in there. Right behind here is the seal, right there. That's the seal I'm talking about right there. You're going to want to make a note of it's seated in so deep. You're going to want to take that seal out and make sure that you insert the other seal according to the thickness, how deep it's seated into there. I don't know if it's seated all the way flush against the, the uh, in that bracket there. Sometimes they're out a little. They're very picky. So you got to make sure that the depth of the seal is put back in the same way you took it out. Here's the seal right here. And what you're going to do to get it out is you're going to drill a hole. I'll show you with this seal here. It's a lot easier off the car. You're going to drill a hole here and here, and you're going to take a tiny L Allen key. You're going to hook it in and hook it in. And take a pair of uh, flat needle nose pliers, lock it together, put a block under there, and just pull up, and then the seal will come out of that, out of that groove. You do not want to stick a seal puller with a hook in there and try to pull it out because you will mar all that aluminum around that seal and you could cause seal put problems it back in, in the you're future. Get a socket the same size you're just going to put it in and you're just going to press it back in with your hand tap it in with the the mallet and just make sure that it's seated the same depth as the one as you took it out it's going to be the same as the bottom the crankshaft seal there's going to be a sprocket I'll show you once I get the uh, mark balancer off and there's going to be the same type of seal behind a sprocket. The same thing, you're going to drill a hole around the seal, insert an L-shaped Allen key, a small one, and then pry out to remove it. You do not want to be sticking, like if I look here, screwdriver in there as you pry up. That's a no-no. So anyway, the seals aren't leaking today. Right here, that's your tent, that's your idler pulley. We're going to be replacing that today. And uh, below the cover there, there's a tensioner, which you can't see because we still got to get the lower time belt cover off. So, but just like I said, be very careful when you remove this because the seal's going to be, the rubber's going to stick here and it ain't going to come off like really easy. You got to work it off like slowly around. There's no bolts underneath here holding it, just here, one bolt here, 
One bolt here, which held the engine bracket on, remember earlier? One bolt here. And then there's another bolt down there. That's all that holds the upper time belt cover off. Okay guys, so now that we're at the bottom of the uh, engine here, you'll see here, here, this is your harmonic balancer. Uh, I think I said a 22 millimeter bolt. Where do I put the bolt? Let's go get the bolt here. Uh, there it is. So we're going to use an impact gun. We're going to zing that off. Like I said, if you want to take it off any other way with a breaker bar, cheater bar, and a, the starter bump method, you can try that, but I don't know. I'm not going to try that here. So I'm going to zing that off right now and then we'll continue. Okay, that came out pretty damn easy. So you know what? Your electric impact can work. There's the bolt. It's got a little bit of rust on the end. It came off nice and easy. Like I said, you can reuse this bolt. But uh, I'm going to be putting a new one on. So I'm going to see if I can pull that off by hand. Okay, that came off by hand. Really, really easy. So I'm not going to need my installer, installer bolt or my puller to take this off and put it back on. You just take it, grab it, wiggle it, it comes right off. Really easy. So no special tools needed for this job. So I guess I uh, don't need my puller. And I don't need my installer. I'm just going to put it up here and it up against here. You're going to want to inspect this seal right here. This is the dampener ring. Make sure it's not separated. And uh, look at that. And that looks pretty good. Now you'll see a couple holes right here. I'm assuming that these holes on the back of the the balancer are to put a tool in behind to hold it from spinning while you crank down the bolt. There you go. And you notice the keyway goes on back the same way you took it off with the keyway. So and there you go. There's the crankshaft. There's the keyway. Right in there. Now we can take off that bottom time belt okay, cover. So you're going to have a couple bolts. Um, it's going to be one right there. They're going to be 10 millimeter. That's the bottom one. So we're going to remove that one first. There's going to be a couple more I'm going to show you from the top of the car. That's going to hold on the bottom plastic. Okay, cover. let's take a look at the top of the engine now that we removed the one bolt. Show you the other ones are. Let's just get in here. You'll see a bolt right there. You're going to remove that one. Right there. Then you're going to remove this bolt right here. And then we're going to come out the other side here. And it should be a bolt right here right there and then there's one way down there I'm pointing to it right there the one right there you're gonna move those bolts and then like I said you're gonna be careful and slowly pry off the bottom cover because it's gonna have the same rubber seal and then uh, once you're done that we can actually set top dead center for the uh, engine for the crank and the camshaft and then we can start taking the belt off and the tensioner and the idler pulley okay I got all those bolts off now this should just come off there you go I'm just gonna want to just take it off just like that so just okay so once you maneuver there. this out you take it over here and uh, this is what the piece looks like. It's got one, two, three, four, five bolts. They're laid out there. They're all the same size. Uh, looks like we got a little bit of grease there. And clean up the time belt cover. Make sure that you don't damage the rubber seal that goes around the lower time belt cover. 
So we're just going to place that aside over there, keep everything in order and put the bolts back in here and then we'll continue.